Well, Merry Christmas, everybody, and Happy New Year, day two of 2020. As uh, we like to say at IHN, the year of vision, we want to see things clearly um, this year, both from the perspective of faith and for those of us engaged in American cultural life in terms of culture and politics. So today's... Um, Feast day, I'm going to make sure that's not uh, blocking that off, okay, uh, is a feast of two great Cappadocians. Cappadocia is modern-day Turkey, a region of modern-day Turkey. Basil the Great and Gregory of Nazians, um, both bishops. One was a bishop out of mon monastic life, and the other was patriarch of Constantinople. Both uh, great men of the Eastern Church. So I had a, a problem earlier where this clicked off the recording. This is my second shot of this morning. I don't know why that was. Basil and Gregory were born in Asia Minor in the year 330. Um, so here's an interesting thing. Basil's grandmother, father, mother, two brothers, and a sister are all saints. Gregory's parents are Saint Nona and Saint Gregory the Elder. Basil and Gregory met and became great friends at school in Athens, Greece. Basil became a well-known teacher. One day his sister Saint Macrina suggested that he become a monk. He listened to her advice, moved to the wilderness, and there started his first monastery. The rule he gave his monks was very wise. Basil and Gregory became priests and then bishops. While he was bishop of Constantinople, Gregory converted many people with his wonderful preaching. It nearly cost him his life, a young man planned to murder him. He prayed at the last moment and begged Gregory's forgiveness. Gregory forgave him and won him with gentle goodness. Many of Gregory's speeches and letters and poems were published. His writings are still important today. So are Basil's writings. I mean, because these are people closer to the source and understand what the what the church is about. So very interesting. On the uh, merry ninth day of Christmas, too, it says here, uh, the nine ladies dancing represent the nine uh, fruits of the Holy Spirit, as detailed by St. Paul in Galatians. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Those are all things that we can certainly use more of uh, in life, especially as we move into this new year. Uh, you know, we look at the lives of the saints to inspire us to imitate Christ. And we look at all these various uh, days of Christmas, uh, what the various, you know, I didn't do that this year. What they mean, uh, we got a banner up in church that talks about it. When you look at the fruits of the Holy Spirit, you know, and our Lord talks about fruit quite a bit. By your fruit, you will know them by our actions. So these are all things that the Holy Spirit ought to be uh, cultivating in you, in your attitude and in your habits. You know, and the, the first of them is, is love. A genuine desire of goodness towards other people. Which is really what the definition of love is. I want what is good for you. Not as good determined by me, or good as determined by you, but good as revealed by God. And I want to, you know, commend myself to helping you pursue that good and achieve that good. And so that tops off the list. Because that's what it's all about. You know, uh, unfortunately, uh, <sighs> it was the yawn. Unfortunately, uh, love often gets reduced to a feeling. And there are feelings of affection and feelings of attraction. But it should be, uh, it's obviously much more than that. And we will the good uh, for another. It just doesn't sound very dynamic. Um, but it is. And the, the good revealed by God. Of course, that should lead to joy in your living. Peace, patience, kindness towards others, generosity, faithfulness towards God, a gentleness where we do not have to uh, 
uh, be boastful. And at the same time, gentleness doesn't mean that we're pushovers. You know, uh, Jesus Christ was a gentle person, but was no pushover by any degree. And those are all things we should be uh, mindful of. And finally, self-control. Probably after this uh, nine days of access, of excess, a little self-control would probably be good. Anyway, Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy New Year.